What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is going to be the first and hopefully a series of motorcycle DIY or hack videos. Um, today I'm going to show you what I did to put a set of wireless Bluetooth speakers into my motorcycle helmet. So if you like what you see, go and uh, comment, like, and uh, subscribe, and look forward to future videos. Alright, obviously first we have the helmet. Um, plan is to mount the Bluetooth uh, receiver somewhere back here. Uh, you know, make it removable with Velcro or something like that, and then have the the external speakers come in probably around right here, uh, attached you know semi permanently with Velcro as well, and then uh, all the wiring kind of tucked you know in the foaming right here. So we got the helmet. Also I have speaker. This is just a uh, portable iHome speaker. Uh, it has uh, an aux in cable and all that. It's rechargeable. Uh, it's another must-have for the bike. Um, I wanted it to be rechargeable, but I didn't want to actually have to put any batteries in it. So um, we're going to try to use that. Um, we have the uh, Bluetooth receiver. It has a uh, aux cable as well, just a 35 millimeter jack. Um, yeah, that's also rechargeable. Uh, to mount everything to the bike, we have uh, a set of uh, adhesive back Velcro, um, industrial. Uh, want something that's not going to let the, uh, the receiver fall off when uh, going you know 90 down the interstate. And we also have a splitter. Um, the reason I got this is I couldn't find any female to female three and a half millimeter jacks, so we're going to try to use this and uh, some electrical tape. All right, I'm going to talk about the uh, speaker I have here just briefly. Uh, this is like a $20 iOM speaker from Walmart. Uh, everything I got here was either from Best Buy or Walmart, you know, there's no Radio Shack around where I live, so um, this is what we're going to use plans for this is to take out the speaker completely and uh, the battery and mount the battery inside the helmet um, and then if, you know, if necessary, go out and get another one and just wire them in series if I need more than one speaker and so first step is just to see how loud it's actually going to be inside the helmet <laughs> All right, so it's pretty loud. You'll, you know, you can also turn it down. Uh, but you know, my plan was to have something in, in the hair, uh, in the helmet that would be loud if if needed, and also uh, quiet yeah, when needed. So this looks like it's going to work pretty well. All right, so we've taken apart the speaker, and as you can see, it's just the battery pack, speaker, and it's hooked up to my phone right now. Um, got rid of all this bolt, it's unnecessary stuff to. A bunch of plastic pieces, whatever, not necessary. Um, so we're just gonna make sure the speaker still works. Hit play. That's sweet because he was totally texting me all night last night, and I don't know if it's a booty call or not. All right, so it still works. Um, next step, we're gonna try to get rid of this stupid LED. Don't need it. Um, get rid of the power switch. Don't need it. Um, we're gonna keep this so we can charge it. And uh, actually, I'm going to be running all the audio through the, uh, the jack right here. So that's going to be the next step. All right, so before we actually get rid of some of the stuff on the, uh, the board here for the speaker, we're going to go ahead and just do a quick proof of concept. Um, I have the Bluetooth and, uh, receiver right here. It's plugged into the audio jack on the board. Uh, the board is turned on, and I have my phone here. Uh, as you can see right here, it's already paired. So it's ready to go. All I have to do is hit play. Good to go. All right, so now we're going to work on the rest of the board, get some of the, uh, the non-essential parts taken off, and we'll see how slim we can get this to actually put it in the helmet. All right, so here is the speaker as of right now. Um, took off some of the unnecessary stuff. Kind of put it in a little electrical uh, tape case. Um, this is a the USB connection. And this is what comes with the the speaker. Uh, another USB for charging, and then audio in. Um, essentially, what I'm going to do is take the uh, Bluetooth receiver, connect it, and that's just going to stay permanently connected inside the helmet. And with it, when this needs to be taken out to be charged, take it out, charge it. When this needs to be 
charged all I'm gonna have to do is just plug essentially plug my helmet into my computer or any other type of uh, USB drive All right, as you can see, you got both the speakers set up. They're wired to one another and then also connected to the receiver in my helmet. So we're going to go ahead and test and make sure that both the speakers work. both work and as you can see right all right well I think I have them pretty much in place change the configuration up a little bit these speakers used to be right about here and the boards used to be back here uh, there's a little bit too much pressure on the back of the neck and uh, too much pressure on the ears so what I did is I put the boards right here where the straps come across for some extra padding and then the speakers sit really far back and the reason being is that's where I have the most padding and uh, did a quick test run put these in and this is the most comfortable setup um, I don't feel any extra pressure you know on my jawline or in the back of the head like I did with the other setup so this is what it looks like without the cheek pads in got the speakers right here and the boards right here and with the uh, the cheek pads in, see there's no longer any imprint back here. All the hardware is right here. And you can see it still gives plenty of cushion. Um, again, speakers back here. And then the board is actually right here. So it does not take up any other, any additional space really. You can, you can see it still goes on easy. Really, really fucking loud. Really loud. 